Today is Wednesday, November 25th, 2020, and the main point of today's video is I want to tell you to go to my backup channel, Hans Worm Hat 2. I've been posting there. I've still been doing my daily videos. I've been posting them to Hans Worm Hat 2, and this just happens whenever YouTube decides to go on their censor censorship sprees. It seems like it comes in waves a lot of times, and so you got to have a backup. I've been posting to my backup. Since I have one strike on my channel now, I will probably continue posting to my backup just to spread things out in case YouTube decides to pull the plug. And so yeah, this is just a reminder or a notice if you didn't notice where I've been. I've been on my backup channel, Hans Worm Hat 2, and I've still been posting every single day. So to get into what today's video is about, I just picked some slides, mostly talking about the lockdown and all that. This is just showing the difference. The way that city mayors respond to things like homelessness, gun crime, and then how they respond to opening your business, not wearing a mask, going to church. Not that I really think people should be going to a brick and mortar 501c3 church these days. This is a comment I read earlier today where this person's pointing out that modern churches, they use the Bible and especially Pauline stuff they love appealing to Paul, who I don't even believe is a, a true apostle. They love appealing to Paul and telling people, oh, you need to follow everything that the government tells you to do. Even though, what did Jesus do? Jesus went into the temples with a whip and turned over tables. And Jesus was doing things that were making people gather together and talk about stoning him. Not because Jesus was going around doing evil. Of course not. Not at all. Jesus was always doing good. And... That's the point, is that a lot of times when you're doing good, you're going to be breaking stupid little rules that that just people on TV bark at you. But modern day churches, they are not really teaching the true gospel, and they're really just subverting people, and they're trying to make people obedient to the beast system, kind of like education. It's basically the same thing. So what I'm going to do with today's video, I... I just saw this on vote and it's pretty disturbing. This person is, I, I live in the state of Oregon and Oregon is the 33rd state. So you kind of expect some interesting things to come out of Oregon. And this person is quite the creature. Anyways, let's just get into it. Sorry, it's small. I know, but. Testing's not the silver bullet, it... but. I also have to be really, really clear. Testing's not the silver bullet. It won't end the pandemic. Both of these people are horse-faced. Eunuchs, why the long face? Because they're a eunuch. Look how much bigger, just how huge the skull is on that bottom right compared to the top left. Men are supposed to have large skulls. Okay, let's talk about the freeze for just a minute because there has been a ton of pushback. What's your reaction to all that? So the governor's reaction was was definitely strong today. Uh, I read her quotes from Oregon politicians and from law enforcement, including the now famous Fox News appearance by Clackamas County Chair elect Judy Smith. She said the free throwing the Baphomet sign there on the creature on the right made Oregonians, quote, second-rate slaves in their own homes. And then also the Marion County Sheriff's Office today put out a statement saying, quote, we recognize that we cannot arrest or enforce our way out of the pandemic. So again, I read all of that to Governor Brown and I just said, what's your response? Look, all of this is irresponsible. These are policies. So one thing to note about signs and symbols, notice how that door is cracked open behind the creature on the left. And they do that all the time. They leave a door just slightly ajar in the background like that. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to do. Maybe like subliminally, it's supposed to make people like scared of what, what's behind the door, you know? Uh, peeking behind the door. I don't know exactly what it means. Politicians seeking headlines, not public servants trying to save lives. Public servants trying to save lives. So here's actually a point that goes back to what the the very first image I started on, there's all sorts of things that are real threats to people or real dangerous situations like homelessness. Why aren't they battling this homeless epidemic that's going on? It's kind of like they've just thrown up their hands and said, well, they're going to do what they're going to do. Let them have their tent cities. 
And just another big one that I don't hear people bring up enough. What really kills people is how fat everybody is today. You don't see the government coming in and shutting down McDonald's, going to morbidly obese people and wiring their mouths shut for a couple months so that they lose weight and stop being obese. So the whole point that they're trying to frame this as, oh, we're trying to protect people. We're trying to save people's lives. When, first of all, that's just not even true whatsoever. They're just trying to lock people down and abuse people and slap around their slaves like they always have. It's not about safety. It's about control. If it was about safety, it was about saving lives, then they would go to all the obese people and wire their mouths shut so that they're not, so that they lose weight. That's actually an epidemic. That's actually things that kill people. So the fact that they haven't shut down McDonald's shows you that they don't care about people's health. My top priority as governor is to keep Oregon. And just look at the smug look on this person's face and it's clearly a man this is i think that this one is is going to be big and be doing big things on the world stage again just because the oregon 33 connection it's the 33rd state and also just whenever somebody is an over the top invert they like to give them a lot of airtime. I think the Michigan I I hear a lot about the some Michigan person and they're another really obvious invert like scary <laughs> healthy and but look safe. at the smile that's where i'm They're focused. smiling we continue to make decisions based on science and data based on science and data that's how they're going to bring in the the new world order and the beast system they're going to call anybody that rejects it they're going to say you're anti-science you're anti-data what a bunch of bs i live in a liberal hellhole and there's the people around me that they have the signs in their front yard that love is love science is real and it just makes me sick, all that propaganda. They don't, they don't understand. I mean, some of them probably do understand all the satanic stuff behind it, but some of them are just duped, stupid people that they want a virtue signal. They, they really cling to the system and to, they care so much about what the other might think of them that they do insane things like put signs in their yard with, saying with propaganda sayings on them it's just so weird to me stuff like that has always creeped me out like what compels somebody to take something like that and put it in their front yard i don't know it's weird to me and we want to make sure that oregonians can access health care whether it's hospital beds or a nurse or a doctor when they okay where's the people going up to fat asses and tell them to put the fork down that would actually help the pandemic of obese people and all the heart attacks that people have, and all the hormones too. These these free martins, they take a bunch of testosterone, and it's like they don't even they don't even get shredded most of the time when they take testosterone. They take a bunch of testosterone and they eat a ton of food and they just get fat. So you have these people taking testosterone, which is really hard on the heart, and then they just get fat with it. They think that they're like strong, but they're just fat. You know who I'm talking about. They're all over the place. And then they have heart attacks because they're abusing testosterone and they're obese, morbidly obese. That's a real pandemic. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. I live around a ton of old people and they're all doing fine. I need it. So that's why we're moving forward with these uh, common sense measures that are based on science and data. Common sense measures that are based on science and data. The road to hell will be paved with people claiming that what they're doing is in the name of science and data. And it kind of goes back. It reminds me of the it's always sunny in Philadelphia thing where Mac gives the argument against evolution. Where's the, where's the science? Where's the data? How often do these people talking about the science and the data how often do they actually show it to you? And how can you actually believe it when they do on the off chance actually show you anything? Where's how can you corroborate that they're not just pulling these numbers out of thin air? And yeah, the fossil record. Who's actually looked at the fossil record? Who has seen the bones in the fossil record? Let's talk about the big question through all of this, though. Enforcement. Of course, that horse uh, face. The governor right. seems to be taking this very seriously making what appear to be threats, I guess, to people who are going to potentially break these rules. But how hard will the state actually enforce these guidelines? 
Sure. So this was arguably the biggest moment in the interview. I just I asked Governor Brown point blank, yes or no, should Oregonians, in your mind, be calling the police on their neighbors who are violating the restrictions of this freeze, a.k.a. having more than six people in their home at once? Should they call the police in those circumstances? Yes or no? Here's what she said. Look, this is no different than what happens if there's a party down the street and it's keeping everyone awake. So they like to play both sides like this and cognitive dissonance. They get people to believe in anything, conflicting things at the same time. Just because a talking head said it to you, people just believe it no matter what, even if things contradict one another. Here, Kate is trying to say this is no different than if somebody's having a loud party. So notice how they're trying to make it seem like it's, oh, it's just some some no big deal thing. But in the very same breath, they'll tell you that, it wait, it is a big deal. It's life or death. Because, wait, if it's just no big deal, if it's just like getting together for a party, then there would be literally zero reason to, to call the police if people are just having a regular Thanksgiving thing. Now, if their Thanksgiving goes to 3 a.m. and they're blasting music... So it's just a false equivalency. And what Kate is trying to do is trying to make it seem like no big deal. Oh, it's no big deal to rat on your neighbor for having a normal Thanksgiving. So, but do you see how trying to play both sides? Oh, it's no big deal. But then at the same time, they'll say, but it's deadly serious because of my pandemic. What do neighbors do? They call law enforcement because it's too noisy. This is just like that. It's like a violation of a noise ordinance. So which is it? Is it just like a noise ordinance violation? Or is this some deadly serious thing that we need? Do you see how they play both sides? They they want you to think of it as no big deal to rat on your neighbor. That's what they're doing. Like That could be a yes. Yes, yes. Um, but honestly, what an idiot. Um, they shouldn't have to. This is about saving lives. Oh, but they shouldn't have to. And th- this is where the talking down. This one is very good at talking down on people like they're your teacher or or they're your mom. Oh, but we shouldn't have to because everyone should just listen to what we say because we say it. That's what they say. And it's about protecting our fellow Oregonians. It's about protecting our families. It's pro- about protecting Look at the our smiles. Lives. Just look at how much this person is smiling at the bs spewing out of their mouth i hate it all the duping delight that these creatures get it should just it should be very clear to people nothing about this is deadly or serious otherwise they wouldn't have such smug smiley faces when they're spewing this nonsense they know that they're spewing nonsense and casting spells on people that just listen to whatever something on the tv says and that gives them joy which is why they smile they can't help it they're not great actors. ...community members, and frankly, um, it's about protecting um, the entire state of Oregon. All right, Dan, so as you said at the top, we had 10 okay. minutes so that's on enough the of that. top with the governor. Oh my goodness. John chapter 16, verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. They are going to brainwash the masses into thinking that they're doing good by ushering in this beast system. And even even churches are going to be going along with it. And a lot of this has to do with the fact that everything is already controlled anyways. There really aren't churches out there that aren't already controlled by some Masonic wolf in sheep's clothing. So... Yeah, I just think that this verse applies very much to the current day, current situation. I think often about how it can be said that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And also something that a friend once said that I I very much think is true. The road to hell is also paved with people who were just doing their jobs. And yeah. So I'll end this video with how I began it go to Hans Worm Hat 2. I am not going to be posting daily videos to this channel anymore just because it already has a strike and I just want to continue to remind people if I ever post something to this channel it'll be to remind you to go over to my backup channel. Hans Worm Hat 2. Just finished with these funny funny images. Normal people, conspiracy theorists. Oh, this one's not funny. This one's more scary. Your DNA DNA will be your data. Scary. Oh, last night I looked at the moon. The moon is very, very incredibly bright. 
It, w it seemed like the moon was just gone for me for a while, and it was low in the sky, which seemed weird. Now it's back to being high in the sky. It's becoming a full moon again. It is so bright. And what I took this picture of, maybe by now you've noticed that during the summer on really hot days, they have the ability to weather manipulate and create these messy, smudgy clouds directly in front of the sun. And they've been doing that with the moon too. Can you see how there's just the messy smudginess in front of the moon? I, I could just tell they were doing the same thing. They were just creating these fake messy clouds in front of the moon last night. And I think it's just, they have weather manipulation all over the earth now. And I think it has to do with the sun being hotter and brighter and the moon is brighter and colder. So I think just to regulate temperature, they very, very, very frequently have been covering the sun and the moon. I think it's just a way for them to regulate temperature, make things not so extreme. That's it for this video. Again, go to my backup channel, Hans Worm Hat 2. God bless everyone.